Hi, today I'm going to do a really quick summer evening makeup look. It's been very hot here in the UK and sometimes if you're going out after work or you just have to get ready very quickly, I've kind of devised a look here that has only six products and you don't need a lot of skill to do it and also it's really waterproof or sweat proof so you'll look fantastic. So I'm going to start by using a bronzing gel. I'm going to use the By Terry one. This has a matte finish which I really like. It's not sparkly which I prefer it when if you're going to give your skin a bit of a sun-kissed glow. Personally, I prefer it when it's not shimmery all over the face. Also, it photographs nicer. Um, and this is available in three shades. They're, these are quite widely available now, sort of bronzing gels that come in lots of different shades, look very natural, either serums or gels they tend to be called. And they're available at lots of different price points as well. So there's, for example, Stila do one, um, which they call the HD Bronzing Balm. And likewise, the Body Shop do one as well. So I've chosen shade 01, which is more for a fair-skinned person. And what's good about it is, although it has a little bit of sun kissness, it's not going too dark. And be wary of that. You don't want to use one that's going to make you look orange. It also has to blend in, obviously, with other areas of your face, your skin rather, so like your neck and things. So try not to go too dark, maybe just one shade darker. But because they're so thin and tra transparent, they do look very, very natural. So it's a really good way of kind of cheating a bit of a glow. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer all over. And you can do this with fingers as well. You don't need a brush necessarily because they're so easy to blend. They're kind of foolproof, really. A good tip is that once you've applied a product like this, go over either with a sponge or a clean brush or the brush that you use to apply it now that there's nothing left on it or it's very minimum and just really smooth everything over. So blend, give it an extra blend. So these gels and serums give you a little bit of colour but they don't give you any um, coverage. So you need to use a concealer. I'm going to use the waterproof concealer by Makeup Forever. It's the color, it's slightly light for me because it's my usual color. So I'm probably going to have to mix a little bit of the bronzing gel in. Although I might be all right to use it under the eyes as it is, because obviously it's a touch lighter, but it's probably going to be okay. So I'm going to use it under my eyes. And because this is fully perspiration proof and waterproof, it won't crease or come away. And then for more coverage on the rest of the face or for pinpoint concealing, you can literally just use your concealer and add one little tiny drop of the bronzing gel and mix those together. And then go in where I need my extra coverage. And you can just try it out. You can sort of check, look at it and if it's too light, add a little bit more bronzer. If it's too dark, add a bit more concealer. So I'm just going to lift my pigmentation -y bits there. And then on any actual individual spots, I'll just use a little pinpoint concealer, mixing the same two products. And then for the next stage, I'm going to use a multi-purpose cream product. This is the Stila Convertible Colour. I'm going to use this for cheeks. It's really blending it in properly. I'm doing this while the base is kind of setting because I've got all that waterproof concealer mixed with the gel which is all kind of setting into place. So I'm going to do it now. And just keep kind of patting and tapping it and you can use a brush to blend the edges as well. Good if it's got a tiny bit of product still on it. I'm also going to use this on my eyelids. Give a touch of colour there, right up to the brow bone.
and then finish off with lips. I'm going to use a brush to put it on because I want it to be on really well. And to create a shape with it. And what's good about these convertible colours is that they come in so many different shades. This one is called Rose and I think it really kind of suits my skin tone, particularly when I've got a little bit of colour. So before I do my eyes, I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to use a felt tip, waterproof felt tip. This is the Stila one. And um, this is great because obviously once it sets, you don't get any movement completely sweat and water resistant. So I'm just going to build up my brows and create more definition. Lots of small strokes and brushing. Really filling in those gaps. Now onto eyes and I'm using the Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliner. Now this is something that once it's on it's on so it's really long lasting and they do lots of different colours. I'm choosing this sort of vintagey gold I think it works well with the rest of my makeup but you can go as crazy as you want or as bright or as colourful as you want. I kind of like this more neutral effect with the glitter particularly with the sort of glowy skin and, and the lip. Now you can just do a line if you want or you can go all over the lid. I'll show you how to do that. You just put a few more strokes above the line and then before it sets pat all over the lid so you get most of the glitter at the roots but then you get this very fine covering over the eyelid which I think looks really lovely and because it's um, glittery and quite sheer in between the glitter it's quite forgiving so if you're not brilliant at applying a liquid liner you'll find that this is okay you can do it And then just a few strokes randomly on the lid and then just smooth in. And a tiny bit can go into the inner corner as well because that always looks nice. Then wait until the eyeliner is 100% dry. Once it's completely dry you can curl your eyelashes if you need to. Give them a good curl. And then I'm going to apply a waterproof mascara this is a bourgeois one, which is volumizing and waterproof. I'll put plenty on. Really working it into the roots. So you've got that nice dark lash at the roots that will contrast with the glitter. So that's the finished look and it's so quick and so easy, it requires not too much skill, just keep buffing, keep blending um, and you can also change the colours. So I've gone quite rosy with the cream colour but you could do it more of a bronzy tone or you could go brighter with more of a pink if that's the sort of shades that you like and that suit your skin tone. Likewise with the glitter liner, if you want more definition go more for a coppery brown or a, a silvery grey or something or a black even if you want to get that get more strength in the makeup um, but I think it's definitely going to last it's very very long lasting I haven't put any powder on simply because the gel that I used is, has a matte finish and the waterproof concealer also has a matte finish so for me even though I've got combination skin it feels like it's kind of enough and I, I quite like the glow but if you're very oily then add a touch of powder as well and it will stay on all night you won't need to worry about it and you can dance the night away so I hope you like it